such an idiot. I spotted one of Wolf's carrier pigeons up near the top of the clock tower. I need you to get it. Sure. But, uh, why? Well, when Wolf was undercover with the First Sons, he used messenger birds to smuggle reports to his NSA contact, which was me. So, he's not, like, your significantly older boyfriend or something like that? I think the term that you're looking for here is a father figure. Hey, it's cool. I'm not gonna judge you. No need to kill it. You got any stun type powers? Gotcha! Hey man, you climbed all the way up there. Might as well come down with style! Good. Now, there should be a thumb drive attached cool to the collar. Powerful. Plug it into your phone. I've already sent you the encryption key. Agent Quo, I feel quite confident that only you will be able to decode these messages and that they'll prove to be invaluable evidence in your case against the First Sons. The world needs to learn about what's happened. Efforts must begin immediately to repair the damage done by the Ray Sphere. Damage for which I am ultimately to blame. Share these recordings with your contact in Empire City. Time is short. It's a good start. I saw a whole flock of those birds escape from Wolf's lab after it blew. All right, I'll keep my eyes open. Ray, what? You know the chunks of Earth that irradiated during race for testing? Wolf seemed to think that you would know what to do with them. Oh, right. Yeah, we, uh, we called them glass shards. What the hell just happened, Cole? My body absorbs their energy. A couple more blast shards and I'll be ready to store more power. Well, those things could be anywhere. Wolf's collection went sky high when the lab blew. It's all right, I'll find him. Hey, listen, in that recording, Wolf mentioned you had a contact up in Empire City. You knew him. Actually, his name was John White. No way. The NSA had a vague idea of what conduits were. They scanned every single field agent, and both John and I had the gene. We were logical choices to infiltrate the First Sun, so he was assigned to Empire City, and I got Numeray. We worked together to maintain our covers. What did John tell you about me? Well, after the blast, his reports got a little sketchy. It all got kind of hard to believe. Of course, now that I've seen you and the Beast... Yeah. Well, it's taking a turn for the strange, all right. When we came here the first time, I got involved with, uh, eh, some unsavory characters. Yeah, yeah, the penicillin is all cleared up. Well, uh, now it's your turn. A couple of them still have a number. They're looking for some help from the Electric Man. Oh, God. I guess you're famous, pal. Even in the ass end of the South. That was a selfless act. Good work. Got it, buddy. 
A week ago, the most catastrophic incident on American soil occurred in downtown Empire City. What began as a series of alleged explosions soon escalated into citywide devastation in what is now being called the Empire Event. Today, Empire City lies in ruins. No official numbers have been released, but the latest estimates put the death toll in the millions. The nation mourns, and we are all left craving answers. What caused this sudden destruction? Is the United States under attack? NSA Director Houston is leading an official investigation into the Empire event, but says their findings so far have been inconclusive. As a precaution, the nation's armed forces have been placed on high alert, and thousands of troops have been recalled from overseas to respond to the crisis. Whether the threat comes from terrorist extremists or some new kind of natural phenomenon, one thing is clear. The threat is ongoing and continues to move southward along the East Coast, leaving a path of devastation wherever it goes. Come on, you could do a lot worse. Hey man, word is out. I got contacted by a cop and a junkie. Wow, that's quite a fan base. These people take you seriously, man. Helping them out will send a message. Look, Numeray's a fresh start for us. Clean slate. <laughs> okay, all right. Hey, these people pay attention. Especially when you got lightning coming out of your hands. Karma's a bitch. I get it. What you gonna do? I'm gonna send a message. The militia gangs shooting up people they think are deviants at the nearby mansion. If you're a good man, like they say, you'll stop the militia and heal the wounded. Gonna be okay. Oh, David. Let's see if you can fly. Jump! Mercy! I surrender and can't have the way. Those officers are taking fire. Give them support. Then capture one of the militia for questioning. These two scumbag brothers are militia spies. I caught one so you can make an example of them. The other's hiding in the swamp.
gonna do, freak? Hippie-ass bucket drummer? Oh, I hate that crap. Do everyone a favor and put the fear of God into any street performer you find. I didn't know you hated the arts, pal. I just don't like being forced to listen to their music. Seriously, who does? Everyone has a weakness. I keep hearing your name around town, Cole. Do it it's again. gonna be impossible to be anonymous much longer. People will start asking for help everywhere you go. Okay, well then let's hurry up and find Wolf. <sighs> I'm still on it. In the meantime, I think you should try flexing your powers a bit. Head for these coordinates. Speculated that absorbing blast cores might expose some of your dormant powers. All right, how do I activate them? I think the key is to stress your body by using your powers in different ways. <laughs> so I just mix it up while I'm frying the militia? That's it? Try it out. I spotted a squad hold up near your position. have found themselves some more deviants. If you don't do something, those folks are going to be target practice. I'm not a freak, I swear. Yeah, feels about right. reason that your other powers should be able to grow in similar ways. All right, this is great, Quo. I'll monkey around a bit, see what I can come up with. I'm glad you're making progress, Cole, because I'm not. 
I lost the trail on Wolf, and the clock is ticking. Once the militia get what they want out of him, he is as good as dead. We ain't gonna take down the beast without that guy. He's the whole reason we're here. Calm down. If we can get Bertrand to talk, he'll know where Wolf is. Who? Joseph Bertrand, the leader of the militia. He's an elusive guy most of the time, but tonight he's giving a speech in front of St. Ignatius. Don't think we got a choice. We need to grab that fella after his speech and find out where he's hiding Wolf. Okay. Time to meet Mr. Bertrand. Zeke, I'm in position for the rally. But I'm gonna stay out of sight until Bertrand takes the stage. I'll meet you inside. Mm -mm, low profile. Got it. The greatest threat that this fair city has ever seen. The devil walks among us. Cole McGrath. The electric man is here. Enumerate. I know, I know. Yeah! Go Bertrand. What'd I miss? Basically, Bertrand's been telling everyone that, uh, you're the devil. Oh. Nice. Our forefathers bled and died in defense of this city. And history called upon them to stand against the enemy. Did they cower? No! They fought! To the last man. Let's get the hell out of here. Figure something else out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. We gotta do this now, man. Otherwise, he's gonna kill Wolf. <sighs> you don't have to stay here, sir. Hey, man. I ain't going nowhere. Not man. These fine young men are the guardians of this city. And they are all that stands between you and the freaks! <sighs> and as God is my witness, we shall hunt them down! And destroy them all! Know what to do. Get out of my way. The devil coming through. Time you and I have a chat? I got nothing to say to you. Freak. Cut the crap. You're gonna take me to Wolf. Now. Wait. 
<laughs> if I were you, I'd be more worried about my head. again. Damn, man. Quo never told us this town was overrun by a pack of inbred, shirtless crocodile freaks. Oh, man, I know. That's pretty cool, right? Oh, completely. Totally makes up for the militia being here. And it even gets better. Man, I think I might have stumbled onto a lead to Wolf. Overheard some folks talking about a strange device they found down on Gaffney Street. All right, cool. I'll give it a look. 